Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. So this is going to be a video on my top 5 green units in the game of Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, yeah, basically these are the heroes that carried me through the story and game itself. Uh, if your favorite hero doesn't don't get picked, um, it's probably because I don't have them or haven't really been using them because of I don't know what reasons, but um, before I get started into the actual list, I just want to briefly show off my uh, dragon team that I've been working on for a extremely long time. So they've all got the uh, weapon refined lightning breath plus, and it's so good. Okay, anyways, let's jump right into the list. So at number five. At number 5, I'm gonna have my Summer Elise as, um, you know, the number 5 spot. She's just really good with the uh, Green Tomb Valor. Really good for helping me level up uh, SP grind my other Green Tomb units, like Julia and all that stuff. I got her as a plus speed minus attack, so I was kinda happy, kinda sad at the same time when I got her, but then put a ground blade on her and suddenly the minus attack doesn't seem so bad. Uh, despite her having minus attack, her attack stat is still pretty high anyways. So I don't know, it doesn't seem to really bother her too much. Now I've got Fury 3 on her instead of Life and Death 3, which I actually... Uh, So you can see I've actually learnt it, like I've actually got it, but I still, I just don't want to um, have to rely on Ardent Sacrifice to drop her to the Desperation Threshold to, uh, yeah, I find Fury to be a lot better because with the Fury um, skill on the slot A thing, she can be relatively tanky. You know, because people can't double her. Well, you, they used to not be able to really double her. Mind you, with the speed seal, she gets 43 speed, and that's prior to any buffs, so that's still pretty fast. Um, yeah, so she's only going to take one hit, ideally magical hit. Uh, she can usually lift through that, and she's going to double back, which is pretty good. Now, she can't do that if you were to give her life and death 3. So, this is the reason why I gave her Fury 3 over Life and Death 3. And with that being said, let's move on to the next candidate for my uh, top 5 list, I guess. Right, so my next one is uh, going to be Brave Ike. Now, I haven't really gotten him for... Like, I... I only really got him a while back. Now he's on Deflect Magic 3. That, I mean, Deflect Magic's ma Sacred Seal, that's a mistake there because um, I I was switching uh, Sacred Seals and I, I switched it with somebody who had Deflect Magic 1 on, so he got that. He's not meant to have that. He's meant to have Distant Defense 3. But um, anyways, so he's a really solid tank and he is a very solid unit to use in arena defense because um, if your enemies are running Brave Lens or Brave... I was going to say Brave Reinhardt's but it's not really Brave Reinhardt, just the default Reinhardt, you know? They can't one round KO uh, Brave Ike so it's going to be a little bit troublesome for them especially if you have a Dancer with a ranged weapon. Um, the dancer with the ranged weapon is a big thing because uh, in the arena, if you have your AI control your units, the melee units will always move first. So you want your dancers to be like an ego or uh, performing art as Olivia or I guess Shigure. So they can move after your melee units. In this case, it would be Brave Ike. So. Um, he's got decent, he's got not, not so good resistance, but due to his, um, I think Bioric's Blessing, 
yeah, Bjork, Blessing, and Irvine. Dude, I gotta say, like, the Irvine is so OP. It's got special trigger cooldown minus one. And on top of that, it's got built in deflect magic three, deflect missile three, deflect melee three. That is insane. Anyways, um, because of Steady Breath, Burek's Blessing, and Irvine, and the fact that, you know, Aether is a four turn cooldown on Brave Ike due to Irvine, and oh man, like, he, he is just so hard to kill sometimes unless you have the right units. And I like to put him on defense to piss people off. What can I say? He is a joy to use in um, Tempest Trial as well because he can keep himself alive. But yeah, pretty good. Solid unit all around. I like it. Right, so the next character on my list is the Axe Lord himself, Hector. Um, so the reason that I guess Brave Ike and Hector kind of switch places is solely because I got Hector extremely early on in the game and because of that well he's not at 9999 hero merit only because uh, I got him so early on like that you know the hero merit thing wasn't a thing at the time and I basically taught him everything like Yeah, I don't know. He he's got a lot of stuff going on, so like he's a he's a he's a pretty solid dude, you know. Um, obviously, this encounter is uh, pretty good. Um, if you don't already know that, then I I don't know what to say. I think the flick magic three would be pretty good on him, so I I probably have to give that to him because uh, on Brave Ica does absolutely nothing. Um, so the the good thing about him is um, if his HP is above the 80% like if it's if his HP threshold is 80% or above he can proc quick repose 2 which means he can double enemies at any range because of this encounter uh, yeah if, if um, they attack him he'll counter for two hits which is really good now once He's out of the 80% HP threshold and he drops down to 75% or below. Vantage kicks in and he gets the first hit. He gets the counter attack before anyone hits him. So his effective HP is just all around the place, you know? Like if he's full on HP, he's got quick repulse hit to go. If he's low on HP, he's got vantage to go. That is such a good combo. So unless somebody gets released in the future with a built-in vantage in their weapon, I guess they might do that. I, I suppose. Um, then yeah, this, this guy is solid. He's a solid dude, I have to say. Um, also, his defense is astronomically high. I, I guess it's kind of like my um. Well, my brave eye cat 38 defense, but only because he was a plus attack IV. So this is his neutral defense. Um, this is actually a plus resistance Hector, so I feel like that's okay. Like it's it's actually pretty good in the current meta because of all the Reinhardt's running around. Um, obviously, 38 defense is going to be um, it's it's going to take more than just the one shot from Braveflin, I think. I, I don't I don't actually know, you know. Um, but yeah, he carried me through much of the game, early game. And therefore he's making this list because I've used them so much and he, he's yeah he's, he's pretty cool he pairs up real well with um, Azura as well because uh, they take care of each other's like weaknesses right moving on um what am I up to like this is the third one right okay so okay so for my second uh, it, it's it's going to be Faye. It's going to be Faye. Yeah. All right. So Faye is. Um, I came into this game like the first. And how do I how do I put this? All right. So I've always thought, man, the uh, the the dragons are pretty cool units. 
Um, too bad the Falcons wreck everybody, and there's so many Falcon users. But then there was the whole thing with like Naoi being able to counter them. But I, I mean, I guess that's cool. But um, what happens now is that what am I trying to say? What am I? What I'm trying to say is um, in the current meta. Fate is really really good because um, you have Brave Lin's running around and Brave Lin will have a hard time dealing with um, this specific Fae because Lightning Breath plus Refined it actually when you counter attack if it's a ranged unit that you're counter attacking against it will strike their low lesser defense so if they have a deep if their defense is higher than their resistance, it'll strike their resistance side. And if their resistance is higher than their defense, it'll strike their defense side. So it's it's a uh, really good kind of counterattack thing. Um, oh yay! Pretty flower. And yeah, I I think um, for me at least. One of the main reasons I, I quite like it, it's because um, I guess the art is quite cute as well and because I have like all the dragons so I, I don't know, I, I just like the little dragons, they're so cute. Um, she's got the, the defense 3 to make it even harder for um, Brave Lin to kill her and it's gonna be a nightmare for Reinhardt, THE Reinhardt. The Reinhardt cannot even touch this little dragon, so... Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say except that finally she's getting good. <laughs> um, I guess that's all I have to say for her. I, I feel like her stat spread could be a little bit better though. Because she shares the same-ish kind of HP with Naoi, which is kind of weird. Um, I feel like she should be a little bit tankier and then her attack stat is kind of average like now he obviously has the highest of the three main dragons that people use and then Tiki's got decent attack but then D Tiki has um, a lot of defense and she has the higher of the speed um, out of the three main dragons people use Obviously Ninian's got like the highest, she's like the dancing dragon. And then, so where does that leave Faye? Like her defense is um, not as good as Young Tiki and then her defense is, I, I guess it's the same as, um, as Naoi. I think the only upside to, like the uh, only upside in terms of stats for Faye is her high resistance. But then I have a resistance bane Fey, so this kind of just levels them all out around the same. But I'm okay with that, you know? Like, 50 times 2 because of the quick repost, and that's still gonna be a little bit uh, not, not great for your opponents. Plus she's gonna get uh, fortified dragons, and if she doesn't, she's gonna get rally, defense, and risk. I put that skill on all my dragons except for Ninian, so yeah, have fun guys fighting my dragons. Um, yeah, okay, well I talk too much about this game. Uh this one here. So um my the 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 green unit that makes my top list, like that tops my list. My personal list. Actually, you know what? Before I actually get to the top unit, just a honorable mention to uh, an eagle here. Now he has been extremely useful, only because he is extremely well suited for this current meta, where it's Bravelands and Reinhardt. Like, he counters both of those guys, and he's a dancer, so that's why he's good. But. I don't know. Other than that, I I feel like I feel like I use them only for that, and I I don't like I don't know the character. I I don't find like I don't, I don't know. I, I just use them because of the utility. But some of the other characters I find they're like pretty cool or like cute looking or something, 
and I like those characters a little bit more. So he's in here purely because of the carry aspect. So honorable shout outs to this guy here. Um, definitely deser deserves it. Des deserves the spotlight. Damn, can't speak today. Alright, so you guys will never guess, but my top green unit... It's going to be Julia. Now, who could have guessed? Nobody. I, I doubt it. Alright, so why is Julia so great? For me, at least. Well, let me tell you guys a little bit of a story. Well, not, not exactly a story. It's just how I ended up getting Julia, I guess. So, I was sitting at a cafe. I was about... 100 orbs into a banner. I, I forgot who I was trying to pull in that specific banner, but Julia was my pity breaker and I was very unhappy. I was, I was extremely frustrated, not happy. I still remember the frustration. Um, I checked her IV, minus HP, plus resistance very unhappy because um, I felt like plus attack minus speed was the only way to go and I yes I do enjoy IV sniping rip my wallet but yeah uh, what I've you know like because of that I overlooked so many things at the time I was pretty new at the time you know so excuses but yeah I didn't realize that plus resistance makes her a absolute rest tank like she, she will survive red mages up to a certain point even. And I gave her green tomb breaker because at the time, um, fast ninos were like everywhere in the uh, arena. That, that was the meta back then. So I just had green tomb breaker on her and she would counter, um, you know, she, she would counter uh, the ninos and she would also serve as a dragon killer which is really nice and she would like I, I think Reinhardt was there at the time as well but like I I, I forget because when if you have Julia in your team Reinhardt does not exist um, yeah like it feels like he's being deleted from the game if you have Julia so anyways the Naga act obviously gives you plus two defense and plus two resistance when you're attacked so she gets the um, 40 res and at the time summoner, summoner support wasn't on like summoner support wasn't a thing yet and I, I, I believe that I, I don't think sacred seals was a thing at the time so nowadays I feel like maybe 40 res is a little bit more common you know but like with all these new units and all these like extra options but at the time um, you'd struggle to see somebody with 38 resistance just as you would see just as you would struggle um, finding somebody with 43 or 44 speed nowadays it's pretty common because of the sacred seal the summoner support which you don't see on your side um, only the actual players themselves will see that but because of the um, the sheer power creep and built-in plus three speeds and some weapons and also the sacred seals you see a lot more speed that's uh, breaking the 40 kind of speed cap thing um, this is another reason like why back then the 36 speed was a safe zone for not getting doubled but now I feel like the safe speed for not getting doubled would have to be 39 but anyways that's going way 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 out of topic so basically what I'm trying to say is Julia surprised me in a very good way my disappointment grew into joy in using her and she kind of proved me wrong and you know like she wiped the dis she wiped the dissatisfaction of my face and through the I think it was um a time period of like two weeks I, I slowly began enjoying using my Julia more and more it's just 
I think she was the first rest tank I had that could properly deal damage in retaliation. And I'll never forget that. Just how disappointed I was summoning her and then how much I was proven wrong um, when I started using her and how much joy I found, you know, how much enjoyment, like how much joy I found in using her later on. Um, I, I think I paired her up with um, Azura as well, so... Oh man, she is just so good, guys. You need to get a Julia. And also, um, I really like her personality. Oh. oh, I see. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, I just like her personality, that's all. So, imagine my excitement when Deidre was um, announced. But, I don't know, for some reason Deidre, like I, I do have Deidre right here, but she kind of lacks that um, special place. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just over the rest tank thing, but I'm not too sure. Maybe it's because Julia ultimately does more damage. Not too sure there either. Um, ignore the bow breaker, that was a mistake. And um, try to ignore the distant defense, because uh, that's, that's, that's not a very good option guys. Don't do it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna end the video probably right there, you know? Um, here, have another look at my glowing dragons that I've spent so long on. But yeah, thank you all for joining me in my semi, uh, ser semi serious talk about my Fire Emblem units. And this video was uh, completely unscripted. I wanted to practice uh, you know just freestyle speaking because I, I feel like I sound like a robot whenever I read scripts off something so I'm just trying to not do that and let me know what you guys think of this method that I'm doing you know um, other than that if you did enjoy this video I'm obligated to say this in a way I guess but yeah like um, please consider leaving a like as it would help me immensely but you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, just the fact that you're watching this video is good enough. Uh, if you are interested in talking about Fire Emblem Heroes with like-minded people, then please, by all means, check out my Discord server with the details down below in the video description section. And my next video, well, maybe not my next, but coming up sometime will be my top five colorless units that have helped me through the game and yeah please look forward to that in the meantime i will catch you guys next time right laters